Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and this is the latest in my series of videos called Isle of Dogs on Access. Today we're going to talk about long text fields and in particular how we can set character limits for those fields. But I'm also going to cover use of dictation and spell check in Access. For short text fields, field size can be set in table design. You can set it for anything from one character up to a maximum of 255. And once you reach that limit, no further text entry is possible. However, if you want more than 255 characters, you can use a long text field, it used to be called a memo field, and you can actually enter anything up to 65,500 characters through manual text entry. You can enter even more than that programmatically, up to one gigabyte of character space. Fine, but you often will need far fewer than that. Maybe you need 500 characters or whatever. Unfortunately, you cannot limit the number of characters in the table design if you're using long text fields. However, it can be done using VBA. Let's have a look at an example. Now, this is the same customer database that I've used for several other videos, and it's ideal for this purpose. I've got a number of fields here, and the notes field is a long text field. And I have set this up so it is limited to 500 characters. At the moment, nothing has been entered, and so we've got 500 characters left. Let's enter some information. And as I do so, you'll notice that the characters remaining is dropping. Now that works fine, and it will carry on until it reaches zero in the characters remaining. But that's going to take a little bit too long for this video to show you that, so I'm going to speed things up. And for that, I'm going to try pasting some information in. And this is a profile from LinkedIn. And as you see, I've put in the first part of that, and I've put in an amount that leaves with just three characters left. Full stop, just two characters left now. Let's see what happens when we actually reach that limit. Text message comes up, and no matter what I do, it doesn't respond anymore. Now that's fine. One way of entering it. And a different way, we can use dictation. And if you press the Windows key and H on the keyboard you will start the dictation mode. It's not fully possible within Access. Mary is a highly effective strategic leader of change at service institution, comma, local, comma, regional and national level, full stop. Mary is the director of education for the Marshall Islands government, full stop, stop dictating. Apart from the fact that it's actually put in so it's dictating there, and there's a few errors there, which I could correct there. It actually does work reasonably well. Let's go back to copy and paste. We deliberately put in more than 500 characters. Didn't allow that, too long to be edited there. Seems to be working reasonably well. But sometimes it will allow you to bypass that character limit, unfortunately. The safest thing is actually to stop allowing any copy and paste and if you want to do that as I've shown in a previous video go into design view for the form go to the property sheet set key preview to yes and now I have a key down event same as I used in a previous video prevent the use of copy and paste and if I just show you this here now the key down event it only actually takes any effect at all if the key preview property is set to yes but what this is doing is it's looking for control and V for pasting and it's disallowing that, it's setting that key combination to zero. It does the same with control C, although you, you don't particularly need that here. We've got a way then of limiting the text to 500 characters maximum. Users can enter less than that, but they cannot enter more than that. And if you disallow copy and pasting, you can make sure that there is no way of bypassing that. So how does this work? Let's go back to the code again. When the form is loaded, it will look for the maximum length allowed, and that is actually set as a constant in this table here, or in this module here. Normally I'd put that in a, in a settings table, but for convenience I haven't done so here. It loads that, it then shows that that message is limited to 500 characters. When the notes field gets focus, it will then determine the number of characters left. So it does the number of the maximum number minus the length of any text that's already been entered. So 500 minus e.g. 100 characters gives you 400 there. When the notes field changes, it then sends a message which will then set notes length using 
this particular procedure here. That procedure then does the following. It gets the handle of the control that's actually in use, in this case the notes field, sends a message limiting those, that number of characters and updates the count as you progress with the typing there. If it reaches the limit, it shows the message box that you cannot enter any more text. Now, for this, there's two APIs being used. The send message API here, send a specified message to a window or windows. The function calls the window procedure for the specified window, and it doesn't actually do anything until it's been processed. Meanwhile, the get focus API retrieves the handle for the window that's got the keyboard focus. But one more thing to show you, and that's just a notes field is excellent for use with a spell checker. Deliberate spelling error there. Let's just come out of that field then, and the spell checker comes up. And we can either ignore it, or we can change it. And for that, I'm using another bit of code, originally by Terry Wickenden, many, many years ago there. And I won't go through that code there, but basically allows you to do a spell checker on any individual control, or if you wish, you can do it on all the controls there and it will only work in the controls that you choose it to work on. Here I'm making sure that it doesn't, for example, check the spelling of surnames, first names, company names and so on. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. We use APIs to count the number of characters as the text is entered. It shows the remaining characters after each entry. It works whether you use keyboard or dictation. When the limit is reached, no further text entry is possible. But it's possible, in certain situations, to bypass the code when you're pasting text from an external source. Therefore, I'd say it's a necessity to actually block that using the code that I showed you there. Thanks for watching, as always. And as ever, if you found it useful, please will you add a like and leave a comment, suggest topics for future videos, and subscribe so you're notified of any new videos.